As Missy said, my name is Alex Ronson, and I'm a senior at Bozeman High School. Steve, I'm ready. Um, I've been working with peers and various people with special needs throughout high school. For everyone who doesn't know, peer tutoring is a class at my school in which you can work with various peers with special needs. This photo is from a um, partners club last year, and yes, that's, every, that's almost everybody in the club. At first, I was actually put into a peer tutoring position and was a little nervous, but ended up liking it and took it the next semester and then the next year and fell in love with it. This past year, I learned about other opportunities to help and learn from special needs and adaptive programs. That's Maddie and Odessa. I started off diving in and joining an Eagle Mount ski volunteer position. I met so many amazing people through this position and got to work with so many fun kids. The kid I mainly skied with last winter was an eight-year-old who loved to zip down the mountain. And I'm pretty sure he's here tonight. That's Charlie. Um, <laughs> With him, Dan, and I, um, the other volunteer, we made fun memories. I've joined the Special Olympics Unified Partners, and through that, got to build strong relationships with the coaches, athletes, and other unified partners. As a unified partner, I get to compete with the athletes in various sports. Ocean and I got to compete in bowling. Phoebe and I skied together. Maddie and I did bocce together, and now we're all looking forward to a fun season of basketball. Ocean is the taller one in the middle, and then Odessa, who I also work with in various sports and activities, is also in the middle on the other side. I'm so lucky to be a part of the community I'm involved in, but sometimes I wish I had known about it earlier. While there are many of my peers who do similar things as me, I want everyone to know about the opportunities to get involved in the community, especially kids my age. This is Alonzo at one of the Special Olympics. Um, Things. <laughs> this past summer, I had a job working with one of my peers, Soren. Soren has special needs and disabilities, and still we found ways to have fun. She volunteers at Highgate, loves to watch TV, loves singing and dancing. And although changing diapers was quite a challenge, working with her has taught me more than any other job could. The most important thing I've learned from working with Soren, in particular, is how unnoticeably inaccessible this city is. When walking around the school, we have to go around unpaved or unplowed sidewalks. If the elevator breaks, we have to go outside through different entrances. The stairs most, uh, there are stairs most everywhere throughout the school or anywhere in Bozeman, making everything that much more challenging for her. Although there are a lot of adaptive programs and places here, I think we should continuously grow as a community to make everyone feel like they're welcome and have access to what's around them. The definition of accessibility is the ease with which people can, find, can access and use public spaces, services, and opportunities. I want Bozeman to offer an equal opportunity with accessibility that ensures individuals with disabilities can participate fully in all aspects of life. I also want independence, which is promoted by reducing barriers of mobility, communication, and daily activities. Accessibility upholds the dignity of individuals with disabilities by removing stigmatization, stigmatization barriers, and last but not least, offers a space for, to foster social inclusion, reducing isolation and discrimination. We can start with a simple act of plowing walkways to make all buildings accessible during the winter. Then we could expand and maintain accessible sidewalks and curb ramps, ensuring accessible pedestrian crossings. Diving deeper, our community needs an accessible park, a park with accessible flooring like rubber, wheelchair, accessible structures, and more. To be able to begin accessibility in Bozeman, we need to take ownership. Engaging the community creates a sense of ownership and responsibility for accessibility. It brings together a variety of perspectives, ensuring solutions are comprehensive and inclusive. Community-driven initiatives tend to be more sustainable and impactful. Education is one of the most important parts of change and empowers individuals with knowledge about accessibility, rights, and resources. This will later help reduce stigmatization and discrimination against people with disabilities. It also can lead to more considerate and inclusive behaviors among community members. This is a photo taken at 
Special Olympics skiing in Big Sky. And actually on the far end of that is Ida May, who's here tonight also. Now that we know what the issue is, let's start with ways we can help promote awareness. Awareness campaigns are strategic efforts to, in, to inform, engage, and motivate the community about specific issues, in this case, accessibility in Bozeman. Outreach and collaborative efforts examples in our town are REACH, a local business creating jobs for people with disabilities or special needs, AWARE, a collaborative initiative involving one-on-one -on -one work with various people, and Eagle Mount, which provides accessible alternatives to daily activities. Accessibility Awareness Month is a month-long campaign with workshops, seminars, and public art installations to raise awareness about the importance of accessibility. <laughs> that is Jack and Oliver at a Eagle Mount camp this summer, actually. Benefits of these campaigns include change of perceptions, encouragement of action, and the strength of community. That's Apparently I have a lot of pictures of Odessa. That's Odessa again. And one of my peers, Doretta, at an Eagle Mount thingy. Um, so the big question is, how can you get involved? Well, we can start out by helping. Attend accessibility workshops and seminars. Share awareness campaign material on social media. Volunteer for local accessibility initiatives. And support accessible businesses and services. Thank you.